Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're well. I hope you're all safe for wherever you are in the world, the UK, outside, wherever you are. I hope you're all safe. Today I've popped on to do a card tutorial. Um, if you're waiting on a ASMR video, um, I will be doing one after this. I have ordered a mic so the sounds are better. I will leave my new channel for ASMR people who would like to watch in the description box down below. Um, if you would like to subscribe there and here, it would be great if you enjoy ASMR because then you will be notified when that video is up. On to today's video. Oh, I have to apologise. Last video I did that wasn't an ASMR video it was pretty rubbish basically I wanted to do no talk but maybe put some music on it didn't happen so I do apologize but today it's like a normal video so let's get started by the way I painted my nails they're all right you like like anything you do your best hand and when it comes to not your best hand I think they're right but anyway but enough about my nails so today is a scrap uh, card making tutorial so um in these books you got various different images and what I have been doing is I have basically put them upside down obviously took them out of the book obviously beforehand and my first image just it's like more of a challenge for me um is this image here and it's got this gorgeous um, mirror frame type here with polka dots and like a brownish background. So I've had a look through my scraps. I have this brown paper here that will go with the colour scheme on the image. I have this, so if you can see the um, shadow of the, the camera, there's nothing I could do about that. Um, it's a bit later in the day, so that's why I've got to have the lights on here. Um, otherwise, you probably won't see anything. This greenish, vintage-looking um, paper. And then a black. So, um, one second, guys. So, I've just picked up a card blank. Um... This is the 5x7. I buy mine from the works and the range. The works is much more local to me, so I do buy quite a lot of my stuff on there or on Amazon. Um, slowly running out a little bit on these. Um, bit bit annoying, but um, if I do go out for like the the stuff I need, I might pop in the shop. Depends if they're not going to close it with all this virus and that. But again, if I order stuff on there, it's coming from different places. But anyway, um, so I have this tiny, tiny, you can't even see it on the camera, little stain. So I will work on that side so it covers it up. Anyways, so here is my... Um, five by seven card i will be turning it this way because this is where i'm sitting just so it's not a, a weird angle but you still get to see what's going on so guys what should i do um oh by the way i can't do live streams on youtube because you've got to have i think it's a thousand subscribers and i don't have a thousand subscribers but Possibly in the future, I will try and do it on Facebook. But for now, we will have to hold off. So, is that going to fit? That fits perfectly. Um, maybe that's too light. But I will have this because I really love the green kind of wash. Is it wash or distress? You get what I mean. Um, background. And then I might use the black and brown to stand this out a bit so let's put that to the side i'm going to use my um what should i use my glue rats from poundland i'm going to put that on i'm going to put the card on 
cut it out and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have now, this is not exactly the best card base because, oh, it's it's a bit overlapped on that side, but I'm not fussed right now. Um, so that is the base at the moment. This is the scraps that are left, so I'll put that to the side to put in my scrap pile um to use for another project so what i was thinking let me put that to the side is get my kind of topper if you would look it that way and i'm going to put it on a brown and then do an outline and then i'll put it on a black and then that will stand up on here. So let's get this trusty glue. Um, so this is quite, a, it's quite expensive a little bit. It's a pound for this tiny bit, but it's really effective glue and um, it's movable a bit, but it dries quite quickly. So that's a good thing. Um, so let me stick this on and then um, a little bit does go a lot of way actually it's quite sticky so I'm going to cut an outline and I'll be right back okay so my cutting skills are not perfect I have a cutter but it's a big boy and I just just uh don't really want to use it for a small project um so these are the scraps left so again i'll leave that for naha um card or whatever so i've got this black and i'm just going to put that on top like so cut around the edges and then actually i can stick this again um i do have double-sided tape but this is quite nice as well. I have noticed with this very thin paper, it comes through and it looks a bit not so nice on your projects. So put that in mind. I'm sure any glue is the same, but with thicker paper or card or whatever, it doesn't come through. So I'll just stick that down. So I'm going to cut out this and I'll be back. Okay, so that is that. And again, some more scrap pieces. They can be put away. So let's bring back the card. So that's going to look really nice on there. But we, we should put a message there or something. Um, I've got my label maker. Oh, I've got some stamps. Let me stick this on first and then... Um, we can, shall I do 3D? Yeah, let's do 3D. Um, I'm gonna stick this on with some foam tape. And, oh, it's so sticky this stuff. So my phone tape, if you don't already know, I buy mine from the works. It's two pounds. You get um, a roll like this, and I don't know how many, um, sections you get off the little squares not the tiny tiny squares I'll just show you what I mean you get these bigger squares so let me do this and I'll be back okay so I have now stuck that on as you can see it's a little raised up I went through my stamps and I think we're going to do a sentiment so I put my stamps in the CD case. Now, this was not my idea. This is from Dawn the Shiny Silver Treasures. Um, she gave me this idea. And I've put a label in there from different magazines and whatnot. So I know exactly what's in there. And in here is... Um, oh, I've just snapped the case in half. <laughs> Look what I've just done. That's easy to be fixed though, but I've seen this um, stamp here uh, get, <clears throat> sorry my throat went then, get well uh, wishes 
and I'm gonna put that in there and I think that will be quite sweet so um, let's get my stamping platform okay so I've bought the stamping platform and I'm going to emboss this now I've only done this a few times um, but that's okay um, do I have a bit of scrap white card somewhere I would do it on here but I don't know if it will do it because it's quite padded now let's try it I haven't really done these might not keep them from moving but this will be upside down for you just because of the angle so I'm going to put that as the center as possible um, if you guys don't know, I got this from Christine Carpenter here on YouTube. So that's grabbed it quite nicely. So let's, um, wait, before we do that, I reckon we should put gold. Just because it's kind of like a brownie vintage colour. So let's ink this up a few times and then I'll come back. Okay, so that has been all pressed down. Um, so let's take this out. Move this to the side. Can you see that? A little bit. Obviously, it needs to have the powder and whatever on it. So there it is. It's a little off-centered, but it's done now. Anyway, so I've got some paper for the powder to go on to so I've picked the gold when I am will dry it I will turn you off but, well be right back on that because it's way too noisy so let's have a look let's have a look Oh, it's got this bit here. I can't seem to get... Oh, buggers. <laughs> One sec. So I had to fix the middle bit because um you wouldn't see the words properly. So I'm going to put this back in its pot. Um, I haven't had any touch wood, big spillages of this powder. Because that would just be a waste. So I hope you guys think that looks pretty. Now I'm going to hot glue, hot glue, hot dry this and show you the end result. Okay guys, so this is the end card that we have made together. Um, I really love the effect of the bossing powders. It's so, so pretty and it dries obviously quite, quite easily. I'm just trying to show you without getting the shadow of my phone. But I think that just looks so, so sweet. So thank you all for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you do, please give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. I will do my best to leave my ASMR video channel in the description box. If you subscribe and put press the bell, then you'll be notified of when I will post a video on there. Um, it shouldn't be too long. I'm not sure when. But if you already subscribe and press the bell, then you won't have to wait. You won't have to worry and wait for me to say so on here. So thank you so much, guys. And I really hope you are safe and well. And thank you for watching.